Hello world! In my previous video where I tried to extract as much performance as possible out of my Ryzen 5 3400G, I mentioned that if someone were to spend more time tuning the memory, I believe that they could extract another 10 or 15 percent of performance um, out of this little chip over what I was able to get. Well, over the past couple of months, I've been trying to tweak the memory to see how far I could push things. Spoiler, the gains are real. Also as a note, I put everything in a normal PC case because the little 120 watt power supply that was in the Inwin case that I was using just wasn't really cutting it. Plus everything was getting really hot and I didn't really feel comfortable running it long term um, with kind of the memory in the motherboard and everything getting as hot as it was getting. I also switched out the very noisy Wraith Spire that came with a 3400G to a mildly hacked together stock cooler from an FX8350 uh, with the fan switched out to a cheap 90mm unit. Now it runs super cool and super quiet. Plus it was free. Also with the CPU boosting as it would at stock, my motherboard was obsessed at dumping as much voltage as possible into the little Ryzen chip. I'm talking like 1.575 volts um, as shown on CPU-Z. Completely unacceptable in my book. While it ran super fast and boosted really hard, I didn't feel comfortable with the amount of voltage um, or heat that was kind of being dumped um, into the little chip. So I settled on an all-core overclock uh, of 4.15 gigahertz at 1.4 volts. That's why you'll see in the overclocked fire strike runs, the CPU score doesn't really scale perfectly when compared to the aggressively boosted uh, stock settings. Okay, on to the secret sauce of how I made this the fastest 3400G on Firestrike. Pretty proud of that. When tuning the memory, for whatever reason, I was never able to get 3466 MHz to be 100% stable, even at 1.5 volts to the RAM modules, uh, so I decided to drop the memory speed to 3333 MHz and go super aggressive with the timings. As it turns out, that was just the trick, running at 3333 MHz at 1.5 volts, which for the Samsung B die uh, memory that I'm using is fine as long as um, is fine long term even as long as you have decent airflow, and with some tight aggressive timings like the ones here, in fact, I saw some pretty amazing results. Today we're going to be using Dirt Rally and 3D Mark Fire Strike because they have very re repeatable and scalable benchmarks. Also, trying to achieve the Fire Strike record is a pretty cool goal, so we'll see where we land with that. With Firestrike, we see that out of the box, with the memory at 2133 MHz, the 3400G scores just 2,992 points overall, with a GPU score of 3,385, a physics CPU score of 12,308, and a combined score of 996. Pretty weak. Minus the CPU score because of the insane boosting that it was doing. The rest of it was pretty wimpy, though. However, with just super aggressive memory tweaks and leaving the integrated graphics at the stock frequency, we are able to score 4,049 points overall with a GPU score of 4,535, a physics CPU score of 13,767, and a combined score of 1,415. It's a pretty impressive uptick in performance. In fact, that is a 34% increase in GPU score, just from memory. If that doesn't prove that the Vega 11 graphics are memory starved, I don't know what does. If we add a GPU overclock to the mix, things get even more exciting. With the integrated graphics, or the iGPU overclocked to 1700 MHz and the SOC voltage set to auto, with the GFX voltage set to 1.75 volts, um, all with the LLC or load line calibration set to auto, so all very safe uh, settings. We get an overall score of 4,366, a graphics score of 4,944, a physics CPU score of 13,767, and a combined score of 1,505. Here's how it looks side by side with the memory and graphics overclock on the left just a memory overclock in the middle, and the stock out-of-the-box performance on the right. In case you're wondering, that is a 46% performance improvement over stock. I don't know another graphical anything in this world that overclocks 46%. In Dirt Rally, running at 1080p medium with CMAA, here's how things stack up. Again, the 
The memory and graphics overclock is on the left, just the memory overclock in the middle, and the stock out of the box performance is on the right. Once again, a pretty awesome improvement. And just for kicks, I tried to see if Fire Strike would pass with the integrated graphics set to 1730 MHz and the memory set to 3400 MHz with the aggressive timings. Turns out it did, and while I don't think it's a stable uh, long-term memory overclock, uh, we still got an overall score of 4443, and we broke the 5000 point barrier with the graphics score of 5040, which is very exciting and we got a combined score of 1,538. So as you can see, on Firestrike, I have the fastest 3400G running the integrated graphics in the world. It's pretty exciting. Unfortunately, there are two turds out there that somehow got a higher score with their 2400Gs. Pretty, pretty irritated with that. One guy got a, uh, an overall score of like like four points higher than mine, and uh, the other person got just some ludicrous score that I really honestly don't know how it was possible, but whatever. I guess I will accept defeat in that respect. But I still have the fastest, 3400G. Anyways, thank you for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope this helps you extract as much performance as possible out of your integrated Vega graphics. Thank you very much, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for more, hopefully, entertaining videos in the future. Thank you very much.